What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and for those of you that don't know, yesterday was my 18th birthday. So today we are reviewing one of the main presents I got yesterday and it is these right here, WWE Brock Lesnar Championship side plates. I've been trying to get these championship side plates for a long time. WWE Shop had them on sale about a few weeks ago, so I ordered them and thought, why not? Um, they were on sale for about £54, reduced from 90 and I said, you know what, they're not going to get cheaper than that. Brock side plate for early ever go on sale. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the review. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we are, and on top of the box, the first thing you'll notice is eat, sleep, conquer, repeat. Obviously, through the uh, first half of 2014, this was Brock Lesnar's catchphrase before Suplex City was born at SummerSlam. So the first thing you notice on this box is mine is actually quite damaged, uh, or not quite damaged. There's a lot of chipping and stuff. Uh, I think that just may have been from shipping. It's really not that much of a problem, if I'm honest, um, strictly because the plates aren't affected. This is literally just the box, so I don't care. So let's open this box up. Bang. There you see the Brock Lesnar side plates. I love these side plates. In the different lighting, they look absolutely fantastic. Obviously, a few fingerprints over them because I've already had them out to, uh, you know, just to make sure there's no defects or anything on them. But yeah, these side plates are awesome. Once again, as I did in the Dean Ambrose side plate review a couple weeks ago, this is like a polystyrene uh, backing um, and it's just sort of covered with like this, like, I don't know, like felt, uh, like velvety. Uh, sort of material. Down here, this is rubber, um, also with the felt material. And then, yeah, obviously, the side plates are in there. So these side plates are identical. Uh, if we take them out, you can see that they are absolutely stunning. I love the red on these side plates. In real life, these championship side plates have been updated for Brock Lesnar. So, back on the version one of the WWE Network logo championship, which is a pretty much what all the replicas are, um, the actual swoosh on the bottom logo, I'll try and get a picture, is a darker red and it's sort of this kind of red that like, like you know, sort of changes shade in different lighting, which is really nice. Um, but more recently, I believe it was when Styles held the championship, they upgraded it and put on literally just a flat red um, swoosh. I believe it's just a sticker. Uh, just stuck over the top because when Kofi lost the championship to Brock Lesnar, I think that sticker peeled off and because you could see the dark red again. But yeah, they've covered over the actual side plate, uh, no, side plate, they've covered over the actual swoosh with a lighter red, meaning Brock Lesnar's dark side plate wouldn't have matched anymore. So what they did with these side plates as well, I'll try and get a good photo, is I think with tape, uh, if not, they may have just repainted them entirely. These side plates are now actually that exact same flat, bright red. And I don't like that. I'm not a fan of the bright red. I much prefer the darker red. This is what the um, the side plates are based off from the first time Brock won the WWE Championship in 2014. And they are awesome. So that's sort of the like, you know, the history, real life aspect of these side plates. Now let's get into changing them onto my actual WWE Championship replica. Let's go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here you can see my WWE Championship replica side plates with the Dean Ambrose side plates on them. If you've been around the channel for a few weeks, you would have noticed literally two or three weeks ago, I think it was only two weeks ago, I uh, actually did a review of these Dean Ambrose side plates. Uh, I got them for Christmas, but I'd only realised that I hadn't actually done a review a few weeks ago. Uh, so I did the review for them, stuck them side plates on, but now, unfortunately, it's time for me to remove the Dean Ambrose side plates and put on the newly bought Brock Lesnar ones. So, then without further ado, let's do a little time lapse in three, two, one, go. Here is my WWE Championship replica belt with the WWE Brock Lesnar replica side plates on, and it looks fantastic. Fantastic. Obviously, the lighting isn't too great here, uh, so you, the red doesn't really show up too well. But it is like, I don't really know how to explain it. It does change like tone in different lighting, which is really nice. Exactly the same as this swoosh. These colours match up perfectly. If you see in my Daniel Bryan side plate replica review, you can see that the Daniel Bryan side plates are a much, much brighter red and it doesn't match with this at all. And for people like me that like having their colours match, 
Uh, it is a bit annoying, I can't lie. When you've got the Brian side plates on and the colours don't match, it does get annoying. Uh, but other than that, these side plates are so cool. Um, obviously, with the pictures I showed you before, you can probably tell that these side plates and this swoosh are much darker than the real one you see on TV. Uh, the real one that you saw Brock Lesnar holding all the way up until Mania 36 when he lost it to Drew. Um, and that is because they are. These are based off of, once again, the old 2014 version of the WWE Championship. Don't get me wrong, the plates haven't changed. They have literally just updated the swoosh and added Velcro to this side of the snap box. That's all they've done. Uh, but other than that, these side plates are absolutely awesome. If you don't own a pair and you're a Brock Lesnar fan, hell, I'm not even that much of a Brock Lesnar fan. But I think because this championship for me personally is so synonymous with him, um, obviously him being the first person to actually hold it, I figured these are a must have, especially at the price of £54. I thought that was a good price. Once again, I believe I've said it before and I'll say it again. I will never pay full price for a set of side plates. I think £90 is very, very overpriced for just some side discs. Uh, so when they're about the £50 mark, that's when I'll normally buy them. Next up, I have no idea whose side plates I'm going to buy. It's sort of become a tradition that I get a set of side plates for Christmas and my birthday for the last two years. Um, I've got Seth Rollins side plates, the generic side plates, Brock Lesnar, Daniel Bryan and Dean Ambrose. I have five sets, so I'm not planning on buying any more replica belts anytime soon. Uh, so side plates are sort of what I'm doing at the moment. Basically, if I'm working again, which I should be soon, but I'm still employed, but I just can't work. Um, once I'm earning money again, I think I need to buy a few essential items for wrestling stuff. Uh, but then after that, I want to buy the spinner replica at some point. I doubt it will be this year or most likely be next year. Uh, but I think, yeah, I definitely think it's very possible that we will get another set of side plates this year. 100% I think that's doable. Whose side plates am I going to get? I don't know. Could be anyone. I put on my favourite side plates, Triple H. I really love the Triple H side plates. I think they're awesome. But we shall see. It really depends on what I can find at a good price. If you find, you can find sets of side plates on eBay for like £30 sometimes. I only paid for, uh, £30 for my Seth Rollins ones. So we shall see. It all depends on price. But yeah, I do hope you enjoyed this little review. Once again, if you don't own a set of Brock side plates and you own this championship or the Universal Championship replica, I 100% buying them. Uh, if you've got the Blue Universal Championship be replica belt, then um, throw it in the bin. But other than that, just, yeah, I, I just love these side plates. They're so cool. I don't really know what else to say. But I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Stay tuned for more wrestling content. Please be sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.